What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are out here in the deep heart of California on the world famous Angeles Crest Highway. And guess what? I'm doing some California dreaming with this car right here. This is it. New for 2023, this is the Porsche 911 Carrera T. But before we get into the 992 version of the Carrera T, let's talk about what's going on here. Porsche. Ever since Dr. Ferdinand Porsche created the brand, really has always been about sports car performance. Now, of course, today Porsche has strengthened their lineup with SUVs and even electrified Porsches with the Taycan. One thing that stays near and dear to their heart is the 911. Now, 911's been around since the mid-1960s, and this Carrera T actually pays honor to the original T, which stands for Turing, going back to 1968 when Porsche with a 911 won the famous Monte Carlo Rally. Now, fast forward to 2017, they decided to bring that T badge to the Carrera, and basically what they created is the lightest available 911 in today's market. So your entryway into the 911 is the Carrera, Obviously, you can work your way all the way up to the mighty GT3 RS. Where the Carrera T falls is right in between Carrera and the more powerful Carrera S. So what I want to find out is, if you're looking for the purest form of Carrera in the 911 and you want that really pure engagement in driving, is the new 911 Carrera T that best new sports car that you should be buying. Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. I always say this, no matter what 911 is, it's been an evolution rather than a revolution. And you could clearly see that overall design that harks back to the mid 1960s. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna get, of course, those amazing Porsche LED matrix headlights Love the way you got your LED daytime running lamp, that LED projector headlight beam, and then everything on the interior is nicely blacked out. On the side, we have our clear marker lights, another nice touch, and that's one of the things with 911s is that even if you go with your entry-level Carrera, there's still a lot of ways you could option this, and this Carrera T has some of those nice special touches. Working our way down, we have the Porsche Sport Design front fascia. As this B really wants to be part of the Carrera T that we have here, you can see the large wide opening to flow all that air to the heat exchangers. We have painted, this is not just gloss black plastic, this is optional gloss black painted trim on that Porsche Sport Design, the LED turn singles, but I love the way you have the nice large wide opening, and then on our lower splitter, also painted as well. Now, as we come across that familiar face of the 911 over the years, it's changed, but it still remains that typical identity that you wanna find. So you have that nice rounded finish, a little bit of flat black, nothing big on that center section. And then of course, as we go up onto that front mounted trunk lid, you do get the Porsche Crest, built in Stuttgart, Germany, just like they were all the way in the original days. I love the way they sunk it into that front hood area and just clean aerodynamics. Now, as we come around the bend, what do we get when you go Carrera T? So you're gonna get these gray metallic, they call it like agate gray, that metallic gray finish, multi-spoke, Love the way you got that nice blade design, even the way that they did the Porsche badge to kind of blend in nicely with the overall color of the wheel. 20 inch wheels up front, 21 inch wheels out back. Of course, you're gonna get those satin gray black Porsche calipers, Brembo six piston calipers with our rotors fully cross drilled tube and ventilated. And then you're gonna get that specific tuning at all four corners for the Carrera T. And like I mentioned earlier, Carrera T is the lightest of all the Porsche 911s. Now the size of the tire up front, 245 on the width, 
35 series sidewall looks fantastic as it sits here. Not even moving, but wait until we go on throttle because we got the seven speed manual transmission. Coming down the side, of course you're gonna get that really great 911 Carrera T side stripe, also in the metallic gray finish. We have our continuation of that painted gloss black trim. And I like the way that instead of doing gloss black on the mirror caps, we have the metallic gray. These are ways to see that this is immediately a 911T over a standard Carrera or a Carrera S. This is rear wheel drive. There is no all wheel drive T, but I love the way you got that fully painted mirror cap. And then our particular one has the optional carbon fiber roof. So we're even cutting more weight and you're looking around over a hundred pounds lighter than the Carrera. Carbon fiber roof is gonna help lower that center of gravity on the 992 chassis. We have, of course, those flush mounted door handles and this one has the optional painted black trim around the window openings. We got that nice wide fender flare to it. Love the way it's got that nice shape. They kind of evolved it over time. And then out back, like I was saying, we have 21 inch wheels. So staggered setup, 20 inch up front, 21 inch wheels out back. Tires, 305 on the width is gonna get that traction to the ground. And then coming around the rear, just like any other 911, it's got such a beautiful form and function to it. This one, just like up front, we got the Porsche, the Porsche Sport Design rear bumper area with the painted gloss black. Love the way you got the Sport exhaust, which comes with that Carrera T, nice oval opening gloss black. And it really shows that with that extra gloss black, it blends in super clean. Of course, coming off of that carbon fiber roof, going into our rear deck lid area, you're gonna have your full venting. This is an active spoiler, which at speed rises up, and then you're gonna get your full LED lighting across the back with the Porsche badge blacked out. But just like every 911 before it, the engine is over the rear of the vehicle. This is not a mid-engine, of course, but the important thing to remember is we have a mechanical differential in the back, that limited slip, mechanical limited slip diff that's gonna help us get the traction to the ground. But why don't we open this up and see what we can see when it comes to the power plant of the Carrera right, T. guys, before we get to the power plant of this 911 Carrera T, I do also wanna mention that the Carrera T does have lighter side glass to help cut down on some of that weight, less sound insulation, to cut down on some of that weight and also let some of that verberation from the sport exhaust get into the cabin a little bit more. It also has this particular one, optional rear wheel steer and the Carrera T comes with PASM, that Porsche Active Suspension Management System. But what else does it have? I lifted up the engine cover. Unfortunately, we can't see that luscious flat six with the twin turbochargers. But what I can show you are the two electric cooling fans that are gonna help keep the temps in check. But what do we got? Just like that nice aluminum badge says, we got a three liter flat six twin turbocharged engine, 379 horsepower, 331 pound feet of torque. Like I said, seven speed manual like we have, or you can get an eight speed PDK if you know how to do the dance on your twinkle toes, zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. If you go PDK, zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Top speed, 181 miles per hour, but where the Carrera T beats all the other 911s is weight. 3,254 pounds makes that 100 pounds lighter than all the other 911 Carreras. And then of course, when we're talking about the overall driving dynamics. It's all about engagement. It's all about having that pure sound, nothing getting pumped in through the cabin. But what I wanna do is, speaking of sound, I wanna fire up this 911 Carrera T 
and let you hear what it sounds like out of that sport exhaust. guys come on in to the new 992 Carrera T that 911 Carrera T unbelievable the history with the 911 and then you tie in how the T was all about Turing and a homologation model so that Porsche could go race and rally now they have it as a way to get the purest engagement and the lightest 911 overall I know you say to yourself well Joe there's a lot of new sports cars to look at and to buy. How much is this one? Because I'm really liking the way that it's optioned. I've always wanted a 911 ever since my dad had an air-cooled 911. How much is this one? So MSRP for a Carrera T starts right at $116,600. It really depends on how the options are. Most 911 owners when they purchase their 911, option between twenty to $30,000 worth of options. But like I said, I just want to tell you where starting is $116,600. Let's see what you get when you go Carrera T to the door panels. Now this one has the optional leather trim with the nice white contrast stitching. I love the clean style. Very simplistic without going too over the top. Flat black on your switch gear. Nice leather on the armrest. And then of course you do have the required track Twinkie holder. Two German Twinkies in there. And you know what? We have the ultimate Twinkie 911 because of the color. Now going from the door panel to the dash, more of that great leather from the options, the stitching. Watch what Porsche does. It looks like there's nothing here. Alakazam, you do have a cup holder for the passenger, and I like the way you just tuck it away. To be honest with you, nobody is gonna be drinking in my 911. You do have some gloss black, but it does match in nicely with the gloss black around the exterior. On the Carrera T, standard you get the Sport Chrono package. So that gives you the clock, which is also a lap timer. Looking really great up there. Working your way down, you get the 10.2 inch infotainment system screen. Yes, we have Apple CarPlay. That's what your maps are gonna look like. I go into our little Porsche icon. We can bring up all the different adjustments, the drive mode, the automatic downshift rev match system, your sport exhaust, and you can even cruise the mall parking lot with your spoiler in the top position and adjust your suspension setting, all from the infotainment system. Obviously, we have our switch gear as well. This is another way to make your adjustments. I like the way it's got the nice metal finish to all of the switch gear. Simple clean on the AC vents, dual climate control with more of those toggle switches. And then this is where the magic happens. A no cost option is the slick shifting, seven speed manual transmission Yes, you can get the eight-speed PDK, but if you want the purest form of the 911T, this is the way to go. You got the race text material around the shift knob and the shift boot. Nice short throws, crisp engagement, 911 badge, and a dark gray finish. I do zonk the gloss black. It's a little too much gloss black, and I could do without this cup holder. The great news is, is that you could actually take this out and just put like a little tic-tac holder here instead of a cup holder. Because like I said, you're not drinking in my 911. Leather on the actual armrest lid with the stitching. Open it up. There's what it looks like with a cell phone in there. Two USB-Cs. Standard, we have rear seat delete. So that's how they're cutting some of that weight out the back of the vehicle without the rear seats. 
And then this one, to cut even more weight, has the optional carbon fiber buckets. These things are a race car piece of beauty. The carbon fiber, the Porsche Crest. Working our way down, we got race text material. The only thing that I would like to option are bright yellow seat belts, but you do have mostly manual controls for the seats. They look like they're a bear to get into, but you know what? Once you drop in, you feel like you're ready to go to Le Mans, Sebring, Daytona, or the plethora of other great racetracks where Porsche has won over and over again. We got the full race techs headliner and lots of room to get your helmet on. But you know what? Get your butt over here. I got a GT steering wheel from Porsche I want to introduce you to coming over. All right, guys, here we are, business time. Behind the wheel of the 911 Carrera T. Love the way you get this dark finish with the 911 Carrera T name on the sill plate. Pedal box right out of a Le Mans winning race car. Aluminum dead pedal, clutch, brake, and throttle. Love the triple pedal action. And if you want to shut off the automatic red match downshift, perfect placement for heel toe downshifting. Seats, like I said, they're a bear to get over. You do have a little bit of electric assist. The rest is manual control. Don't think that you're reclining it back because this is how you sit. You want to be race car? These are those race car carbon fiber seats. Steering wheel right out of the 992 GT3. Love the race text material. You got your drive mode selector knob, of course, the Porsche crest. And then I love the way that they hollow out the spokes on the steering wheel, manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and then the dash. They kept the analog tech. So smart, has been there since the mid 60s. Then you have your digital information. You could go through your different modes, which is really nice. And then you could also, once the display comes back up, you could scroll through different information. Look at that, I could actually bring up my navigation. You can't do that on your air-cooled 911. And then you have all your other readout. Very cleanly displayed, makes sense. Of course, we got the ignition twist on the, the left-hand side of the steering wheel. This is where you used to put the key or the key fob, and it all dates back to the early sports car endurance racing days. They fire off the gun to start the race. You run to your car, hop in, start it up, first gear, and you're off. But while we go ahead, speaking of taking off, if you're ready, I'm ready. I wanna go on throttle with you in the new 911 Carrera T. All right, guys, we're in this 2023 911 Carrera T, and we are going on throttle. That's what T stands for, on throttle. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Hell yeah. I tell you, the twin turbos, you're not waiting for the boost to build up. Love the automatic red match downshifts. And just that nice, light, connected feel. Look at this. Rear wheel steering option, I always say, should be at the top of your list on any Porsche. Really allows the car to just be so confidence inspiring in the twisty bits. Brakes are totally substantial. And just very balanced, very connected. Of course, with the carbon performance seats, the carbon back, carbon fiber back seats absolutely just holds you in place, but they are really comfortable, I'm telling you right now. But everything just feels so connected in here. Look at this. On those brakes, <laughs> this is what California Dreaming is all about. It's awesome how you can just leave the car in third gear and really has a nice wide power band. 
Here we go. That's what I really like about this Carrera T is that you might think, oh, it's just the standard three liter motor, but it does have such a usable power band. And here on Angeles Crest Highway, you could really just leave it in that third gear and just let it rip. I mean, this is phenomenal. <laughs> With having less sound ending material, you're really being able to experience that great sound of the flat six with those twin turbochargers. Then it just pulls and pulls and pulls all the way up the red line. Here we go. Automatic red match downshift is so quick. Here we go. <laughs> Holds a line so well. Really just a nice option added to the lineup. Really shows just the whole wide variety that Porsche brings to the 911. Wow, the grip, third gear, so smooth. And of course with the flat six, you have that lower center of gravity, allows you to just stay pinned to the road. You truly get what these cars are about. Yeah! <laughs> for sure, you're always going to want to dial 911 for that ultimate in performance driving. Because it really just showcases what this car is about. I mean, golly. The grip from those Pirellis is stupendous. But like I said, just leaving it in third gear just allows you to take full advantage of the power band. On the brakes. Here we go. Look at it. These are what the roads are that I dream of at night. Get some pops, some bangs out of the exhaust. It just rockets you from quarter to quarter. There we go. It's like one constant on throttle in this drive right now. I'm about to implode from just feeling so good from behind the wheel. Watch this transition, right, left, the front grip allows me to know exactly what's going on with the front end of the car. And it's so dialed in with the rear. God, look at this. So smooth, you know, you just, if you're smooth with your inputs, the 911 just rewards you more and more and more. Look at this. You really feel that lightweight, especially on this road and especially in those switchbacks. It's like, I almost feel like I have all wheel drive. That's how much grip you have. God. Give a little wave to that air cool 911 going by. just allows you to be one. This is why I say, you know, yes, there's going to be faster cars. There's no doubt about it. But feeling too in tune with the car, feeling one with the car 
that's what Porsche does, and that's what this Carrera T that I know T stands for Turing, but there's nothing Turing about this. You are a precision instrument going from car to car, carving those corners. That's how this thing drives. You're just carving those corners like a Thanksgiving Day turkey. I'm gonna come to a complete stop and we're gonna go on throttle. We need to find a little bit of a straightaway. Here we go. Perfecto. Nobody behind us. We're gonna do first gear. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! Yeah! Chirping tire is a happy tire. Wow. You better get yourself a get out of jail free car because this car is going to get you in trouble. So have that card ready. Look at this. It's like you're surfing, man. I love this. And this is the perfect surfboard for this road. I'm telling you, just enough power and the balance. Hey guys, we need to do another on throttle. Nobody behind us. First gear. On throttle, here we go, yeah! Jeez. The thrust is so amazing from that flat six and it just shows what the 911 is from a foundation standpoint. You could go turbo, you could go turbo as GT3, but the base 911 Carrera platform really shows its strength with this Carrera T. It really, really does. The sound is perfect with the thinner glass, with the rear seat delete. This is a second gear roll from about 40. On throttle, here we go. Just goes and goes and goes. Even in its standard form, you're getting a great interior. No shakes, no rattles, just Porsche goodness poured all over this thing. But I think the GT steering wheel with the race techs, the race techs on the shifter just adds a little extra niceness to the equation. And then the short throws, connected feel the seven speed, of course not as in tune as the six speed that's in the GT3, still does a great job with the shifting duty and you're gonna you're gonna love it you're gonna have such a good time rowing through the gears this is what it's all about god i love that sound i could hear that in my dreams and sleep very happy tonight Look at this. It just holds a line so well. So balanced. Unbelievable. But I hope that this has been a wonderful California dreaming kind of day that I could share with you in this 911 Carrera T. We're going to get back to where it all started and wrap it up. So I'll see you in a split second. On throttle. All right, guys. It's been one of those magical moments, like I said, California dreaming and surfing USA out here on Angeles Crest Highway. Of course, we got to thank the whole Porsche North American team for getting us the invite and access to the new 911 Carrera T. Let me know what you think. Has Porsche struck the perfect balance between pure engagement and overall performance driving with that Carrera T? in a sports car design? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it to the hardest working camera person in the galaxy. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.